What's going on guys? This is Empty Box and this is our racing NASCAR I Racing Series fixed from Pocono. Starting 24th position, car 18, 80 lap race. We're gonna set the over under at 5.5 cautions. So we're gonna be over, we're gonna be under. Hope to goodness we're under because pace laps are brutal here. After a bit of a break from this series, and I racing in general, I decided, hey, you know what? Pocono, track I should enjoy. Three distinctly different corners. It's almost like a road course, man. But, uh, yeah, you're breaking into the corners, all sorts of good things. Usually you get to gaps developing because, you know, this is a longer track. As well as the fact that you do have to do a bit of driving, which hopefully will mean that this race will have green flag runs, which would be fantastic. I think long green flag runs here would be an absolute blast. I wonder to look into the outside there. We're not going to bother challenging here. Play the long game. Especially if we do get a long green flag run, if we can save a little bit. We've seen other tracks where, you know, saving the tires 10 to 15 laps in, all of a sudden it's, uh, you know, the choo choo train of passing cars all over the place is on, so. I don't know, I honestly don't know what to expect. I don't think I've done a uh, race. In the uh, stock cars here at Pocono, obviously done a heck of a lot of racing with the Indy car around here, and this track hates me. Although I think we did bust the streak with the new Pocono. I think we determined that this track no longer has a vendetta against me for some reason. Kind of cruise here for a little bit. Give it some time. There is no need to be in hurry. Oh, this race is only 80 laps long, but does have the longest uh, oval track lap time of the season. I do believe you can actually make a pit stop here and not lose a lap. So that also will be a strategy. I think this is gonna be one of those races where if we do get a long green flag run, which hopefully we will, we'll see some drivers going for a three-step strategy, basically pitting 5, 25, 50, and 75, and some drivers on a three-step or two-step strategy, lap 33. Or heck, never mind. I mean, I think this one through here, 20 and about 26 laps between two and three three-step strategy. For some reason I was thinking it's a hundred lap breaks, but nope, only 80 laps. So it would be interesting to see that all play out. So uh, how about 80 laps of green flag running? I was gonna say at number 12, when I'm almost running over going into the corner, that's when you're breaking really early. Not that there's anything wrong with that. As a fellow early breaker, members of the same club, Here's my admissions card. Right. 
get her on here. Get to the inside. Yeah, okay. But you just about decided to turn in there. It's all good. Oh, I believe that's Aaron Rodgers in front of us. Yep, Aaron Rodgers right in front of us. Aaron Rodgers in the wall. That is starting to thin out a bit here. Which is honestly a good thing. Although we'll see, Swervies, Swervies. Good save, good save. It's always the big concern with this car once the tires wear off. Start getting Swervies. Once you get Swervies, well, Swervies become more Swervies, and then you get double Swervy. And bad things happen when you get double Swervy. Cruising along in my automobile. Got nobody by my side. Something, something else. Spin wreck. Swervy. Destruction. Yellow flag. Yeah. All right. All righty. Well, you guys are so incredibly lucky. So incredibly lucky. Each pace lap, like two minutes, two and a half minutes around here. Yeah, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Alrighty, guys, we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. We did make a pit stop, but I cut that out because uh, really nothing happened. But uh, 60 laps to go, it's crunch time, boys. Oh, wait, the laps are like a minute long. Never mind, not crunch time. But don't tell these guys that, because, like, you know, let's go eight wide on the straights, because Pocono, yo. Pretty sure Pocono, like, intentionally made their front straight so incredibly over the top wide, just so that way they could have cars go, like, 62 wide. I mean, what what other reason is there? I mean, not for that reason. Then for what? Had extra pavement left over at the end. They're like, hey, you know what, guys? Uh, we got all this extra concrete. I mean, it's already paid for. So, big straightaway. Too hot there. One thing did come up under uh, under the pace lap, the caution laps. Mentioned the uh, bump down to turn one, the apron. There is a wreck. We don't want to go all the way to the bottom without uh, significantly slowing down. The apron has a huge bump in it that will pretty much destroy you. If you want to see that in action, uh, the IndyCar race that I live streamed from here. 
probably about a month ago, two months ago. Someone hit that bump. Oh, they're, they're wrecking. Someone just got a shove and a half. Gathered it up. Good save. I think the 11 just got hit in the back a little bit. I don't think he's damaged. I don't think he got it on the wall or anything like that. This guy beneath me there. The guy in front of me now. Bushmobile. Be shifting. Shifting or not shifting doesn't really seem to make a difference. Used to, used to be the big thing with Pocono in the real world. This is basically the only track besides the road courses that they would shift at. Then NASCAR's all like, oh hey, we need to change the rules. That way, you know, you can only use this uh, final gear ratio because people keep destroying gearboxes because these, these guys don't shift ever, so... You know, they're, they're, they break gearboxes a lot. Keep high. Oh, that and the fact that when you're doing like 9,500 RPM down the middle of the straightaway with an H pattern gearbox and a like 900 horsepower engine, eh, things, things end up breaking on occasion, you know? Just too tight. Hopefully, we get get a longer run. Because A, I think that will suit me. Typically, it does suit me as well as B. That will help loosen the car up. As long as we don't burn off the right front. So, fingers crossed. Shifting again. I assume. Nope, we're going three wide. Alrighty. Doesn't turn up top. Alrighty. And we're in the wall. I'm gonna assume that was a uh, network shenaniganry. Outside. 
Well, that was weird. I mean, that was a network shenaniganry. Like sure as heck that he was in the process of wrecking going totally sideways down the road then he just kind of like straightened up and lost the speed. Racing though. Keep low. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. No. Pump. I don't know, we might want to start shifting here. In my uh, five minutes of practice, I did try it just to, uh, you know, see if that's what we we're going to be doing. And on fresh tires, there was definitely no point to it, but maybe now with the tires worn, you know, because on fresh tires, you're just turning so many RPMs coming out of the corner, or like you're doing. You know, 8,000 at the apex of the corner when you, you know, the revs start going back up. So you just run out of gear so quickly that your shifting doesn't really make a difference. Tires worn. Corner speeds go down, revs drop. And seven. It's, I, I don't know, man. Sometimes when you see some goofy stuff, it's just down to their connection. Definitely seems like he's uh, giving her the beans, if you will. Let's try third. Definitely loosens her up. <laughs> Definitely loosens her up. A bit too much. I really don't think it makes a lick of difference. is tighter than it appears. All right, let's get back to basics here. Pretty close. Swervies, and he saved it. Nope, he didn't save it. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Be 
Bummer! Things are just getting good, man. Things are just getting good. It's probably because he shifted. <laughs> That's probably what it is. I wanted the car to be a little bit looser, but at the time I, I went for third. It's just like, yeah, this is a little bit too pointy on the throttle. Uh, I'll go ahead and... Go ahead and take the perhaps maybe slightly slower approach, but I won't do that. At least that's the plan. So, anyways, I don't know if the pit road is going to open here. We'll see here. Probably not. Yeah, the pit road ain't going to open. So, anyways, I'll just go ahead and cut out this yellow. I'll, I'll put the pit stops in once we get to actual, you know, crunch time, but. Uh, Save some time here. Under the green flag. Alrighty, we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. 50 laps to go at the stripe, I do believe. The pipe car is in. Green flag, green flag. 17th position. There was a uh, discussion under the uh, caution laps as to shifting. Some people were like, yeah, I shift every corner. Some people were all like, yeah, I shift never. So people were all like, I shift here. A couple people were shifting in turn one. I'm like, you're shifting in turn one? Like, what? You what? I mean, I guess you are turning about the same RPM. So maybe we'll end up trying that. But honestly, I don't think it makes a look of difference. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. A little bit of top side action. Let's take a look at the tire wear after that pit stop when we did burn up the right front a bit more than any of our tires, which not good. So we do need to kind of try and be a little bit mindful. I think I was really just overdriving a couple of the corners in particular turn two here and that's where I was causing problems for myself Car inside. Clear inside. Car inside. so we'll try and be mindful of that So I think it turned two. If I hit it right, I really think that's where we're gonna absolutely massacre the field. Seems like that's where people struggle and that's where I've been strongest here in this race. Just a matter of hitting it correctly lap after lap. Try and keep it as easy here. We've had a couple of shorter little runs there. Hopefully, this will be the one where everyone just kind of like, okay, we've kind of figured out what we got. And now we race. Look at how much ground we gained there. Right. Gonna try and go for third here. Yeah, 
I really don't think it makes much of a difference. It sounds faster, but I don't think it really is faster. Too low there. Basically, we want to get the left side tires right on that yellow strip. Nope. Oh, man. I forgot why I took a break. It's because you only do like five laps and then, oh, hey, caution, because God forbid we do more than like ten laps in a row. I guess this is just too difficult. Anyways, onto the green flag. Okay, we're just short of halfway by a lap or two up to 12th place. Could have been a bit of a sketchy start there. Did check the tire wear during the caution laps. And we definitely were more balanced front to rear. Which is what we want. Which way do we go? Stay high to the car on the low side. I didn't get the power early enough there. Clear inside. The car inside. I don't know what I was waiting Stay for high. there. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Stay high. Sure, no one is going to try and fit in there. It's okay, though. Just can't get carried away. We got to keep the car one piece. Got to keep the tires on it. Tap in the wall there. Getting that zero X. Okay, we got 35 to go. Let's get this show on the road. Green flag from here to the end. Guaranteed not to happen. The pipe carries in. Green flag, green flag. Like the leader got a little bit of wheel spin there. No! 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 Stay away from me! Stay away from me! Get away! Go! Get away from me! Okay, one hour left in this race. It's officially timed to race because it's going to take an hour to do these pace laps. We're up to eighth place through the carnage. Let's uh, carry on here. I think we're putting a pretty solid one together here. We 
getting started. Mid pack, mid back pack. And up here in the top 10. And called it. Man, if you took the under, you done screwed up. Under the green flag. Do you think we can make a lap under green flag racing conditions? Place your bets now. I have my reservations, but surely back to back is going to be all it's going to be. Not going to go back to back to back to back. Yeah, you know, none of that stuff, right? Surely. Went higher there, avoiding the bump there. That's in that middle groove. Had a little bit of practice uh, driving this thing into turn one on the outside. I'm gonna restart, yeah, if you know what I mean. No. This race is so good. The leader disconnected. Just was like, you know what? Screw this. I got better things to do with my life. That's when you know this is a quality race. So, uh, GG iRacing delivering a quality product. I'm glad we got that DQ limit, because otherwise I wonder what it'd be like, you know? Purple frickin' dirt. And I'm pretty sure if we don't complete this lap, I will be disconnecting too. I'm just, just saying. Alright, turn three! Turn three! Brace yourselves! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, 13? Not sure where you're going there, 13. That was a bit of distracted driving right there. That, that just hurt me. We don't lose a spot, we could have picked one off too. And that's a bump. Oh well, not nearly as sketchy as, as getting a bump there 200 miles an hour in an IndyCar. I mean, you got fenders on this thing. Anyone can bump in a stock car. It takes a troop pro to bump in an open wheeler. Yeah, buddy. I think 13 might be on all tires. You know, I'm quite torn. I feel like I should just save save the time, you know, and just like, just disconnect. Because I mean, this is just, this is a joke. It's a J-O-K-E, joke, joke, joke. And hey, the guy who bumped me apologized. No problem, Andrew, no problem. It's all good. It's racing. Uh, you, know. you know, but, uh, oh my goodness. This is just, uh, you know, I tell people, like, oh my goodness, where's the videos? We'd like more videos. Why'd you stop racing the NASCAR iRacing series? This is why I stopped racing the NASCAR iRacing series, because this is a joke. And I've, quite frankly, have had it up to here. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back iRacing is not delivering a quality product 
anywhere close to what it should be. Some people say, oh, you got to race the Open Series. No, the fact that you people say, oh, you got to race the Open Series is in of itself an admission that the system has failed and needs to be worked on, it needs to be addressed, and they do nothing. And quite frankly, it's just like... I'm, I'm out of energy. I'm tired of, oh, you can't race the fixed series or, oh, GT3 going to GT3. And, you know, it's just, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. You know, yeah, the, the drivers are responsible for the racing and, and all that, but the system is designed to make sure that quality, consistent races happen regularly. And, you know, everyone else is pitting, so I guess why the frick not? Catch the pace car. I don't feel like we should be pitting because I feel like we've done literally three laps on our tires, but we've actually done like 20 of them. Problem is they've all been pace laps, so. Good stop in the box. All right, do that thing, you know. All right, come on now. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a good pit stop there. Apparently I have angered the iRacing gods. Oh well. Big whoop de friggin' do. It's such a shame too, because like every track that I actually like in NASCAR, you know, Pocono, Richmond, Dover. <laughs> you know, the road courses obviously. I mean, the road courses are a different thing here in iRacing, because there's no cautions. No cautions there, but it's just like every track I enjoy, you get this. This is the product that you get. Uh, that's pretty dang terrible. People, people under this, under the last few yellows, been saying, "Oh, you know, this isn't that bad for Pocono." Like, no, this is terrible for anywhere. This is NASCAR Racing 2003 public server racing. <laughs> you know, I mean, what are we, what are we here for? If we're getting a product that we had 15 years ago, and that's nothing that makes I Racing I Racing is actually delivering what's supposed to make iRacing work and what sometimes works, but increasingly often isn't working anymore. Sorry for the rant, but this is, this is ridiculous. And it's made worse by the fact that the pace laps are two freaking minutes long. So yeah, I've literally been driving around in a circle with a virtual reality headset on, which is uncomfortable enough to begin with, doing like 50 miles an hour. I can drive a real car 50 miles an hour on the street and, you know, it's a lot more fun. Anyways, on to that one green lap we're gonna get. Going green. Hey guys, I heard you like restarts, so I got a race with a bunch of restarts in it so you can enjoy the restarts while you're watching restarts because there's restarts. The pipe car is in. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, we could have just junked the field there. Put out of that one. Oh, don't worry, turn, turn one more right here. No. Yeah, probably. Hold my beer, watch this. Looks like we're getting off a squirrely there. Or a couple cars that stayed out. I do believe the 34 was one of them. Not sure about the two though. Oh, well, we got one looking way low down there. Pretty sure this uh, esports guy. Still there. 
I do believe he is on old tires. Just, I, I, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And, and, and I know people will say, oh, and the guy was on old tires. He was asking for it. Like, no. No, why are you on the Aprian? Like, why? What do you think was going to happen? Duh. I, I just, it's stupid. It is straight up stupid. And here we are, five minutes of practice. This isn't even what I do. I'm not I'm not a stock car oval ace or anything. I'm actually like ridiculously mid-pack. Started in the back, passed a couple of cars. Now we're up here in fifth because 95% of the people in this series just are incapable, apparently. Actually, that's being way too, way, way too harsh. Uh, it's nowhere near 95%, but it's really, really high. <laughs> it's, it's just... It's just... I, I just... Oh, God. Hey, guys, guess what? It's another restart. Hey, we're in fifth, though. Two got his bumper taken off by the uh, guy who ended up spinning in front of us, 23 or whatever number he was, under the yellow. Uh, good old retaliation. The pipe car is in. Green flag, green flag. Get back in fifth. Slow start. Yep, we're, we're playing Pocono games. I just screwed us there. Two is cutting under there. The uh, 13, I believe it is. Trying not to get dive bomb from behind. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. All right. Meanwhile, that four is just getting off in there in the distance. Hopefully we can get the 13 here. He's been screwing up turn two pretty regularly. Hope we got it that time. Only fitting. And of course, I basically have like a one lap, two lap, three lap, basically no lap, because we'll end up getting a caution like three turns into the whole ordeal, if even that. Run to end this race, but fortunately there's only five laps left, so less than 10 minutes of this bull crap and finally free. On to the green flag. Alrighty, one way or the other, this is the final restart of this race. Thank goodness. Starting fourth Going place green. here. Two to go. I think the two is definitely faster than the 13 here. But this car is damaged. Yep, 
J O K E joke 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 J O K E joke 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 What a shit-tastic race Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you go ahead and subscribe and all that good stuff because stay tuned for more iRacing, NASCAR iRacing series from wherever this track series thing goes to next week because that's so exactly what I'm looking forward to. And just kidding, not happening. And this is why. Man, I could have wasted like two hours doing something else instead I did this. I mean, what am I doing with my life, you know? I mean, come on. I mean, like, this race probably is quite literally two hours long, which is pretty embarrassing. I mean, that means that you're literally doing less than 100 miles an hour average. It's pretty, pretty pathetic when you've got 900 freaking horsepower and a purpose-built racetrack. It's like 82 feet wide. It's an embarrassment. It is a straight up embarrassment. But you know, part of me likes likes doing these races that are this crappy just to showcase how broken the system has become now that there's literally like nobody in iRacing who cares about the safety rating system and, and the license system and things like that because they've been meaningless and they've never been fixed to address the current realities within iRacing. And, and that's why you end up with races like this. You get people who, quite frankly, have nowhere near enough skill or ability or experience to race these cars. Like, you jump in in the uh, regular series, the non-NASCAR racing series with the cup cars. It's a Class A license. This one, this series, is a Class C license. Why? You know, it's just, and that, and that has nothing to do with it anyways, because everyone, I bet you everyone in this race is probably an A-class driver. You gonna tell me that everyone in this drive, in this race is an A-class driver? <laughs> oh, and I know what some people are gonna say, oh, well, you know, they made the license system super easy. That way, you know, everyone, everyone can advance and that way they can sell more content, but when your product is a premium product that is based on the idea of one thing making it that premium product and it no longer is delivering that pre premium product well what's the freaking point you know it'd be like you know for example you know you take apple you know you got an iphone but like shit don't work yo you know and <laughs> just like it's full of bugs and glitches and like it you know, no battery okay, life and all right that. Oh, wait. But, uh, you know, it, you have to deliver a premium experience if you're going to charge a premium. When you're charging a premium and you're delivering this, what the hell are you doing? Anyways, I'm not even going to bother putting in a carnage report because I ain't got time for that. So, uh, sorry for this negative negative race towards the end. I was really looking forward to this. I really like tracks like this, but apparently I like tracks that your your average eye racer just can't handle. I guess it's just too difficult. I mean, in fairness, this is like the the most difficult oval around because you are on the brakes, you are shifting, you know, you're doing things. But that's a freaking travesty. J O K E. I think the pace car is the only car not involved in a wreck or contact there. But uh, anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. Right, bye.